Um, so this class, over the 18 years we've been teaching it, has come to be called the storytelling class because everything we talk about here, there is a larger story behind, but we can't go into them all, but some of them are just worth telling. Yeah, we'll tell some. So we're going to start with a really, really simple thing. What are ethics and etiquette? So without writing stuff on the board, tonight's not a big on the board night, but when it's you... It's discussion. Yeah, it's, it's mostly discussion. When you hear the word ethics, what immediately pops to your mind? Just that word ethics, because it's, it's gotten wobbly over the past few years. Ethics. Like, uh, is it the right thing? Doing the right thing. Okay, it's a really good example. Anybody else? Morals. Morals. Bit personal. It's your sense of what is the right thing to do. Okay, so that's the personal side of it, yeah. Being uh, educated so that you know what uh, doesn't offend people. Which is tricky nowadays Don't because the language keeps. Sorry? <laughs> Don't sleep with your students? Well, yeah, that's definitely. We'll go. We, that's in there. That's in there. It's like. It's in there. It's in there. Do you remember that commercial? It's in there. With the Boundaries. Big thing Boundaries, sure. But then you look at business ethics. It is a it is a code of conduct. And there's legal ethics. And there's medical ethics. So that word really does matriculate from place to place to place. What's etiquette then? Because they're not exactly the same thing. Knowing which one the shrimp fork is. <laughs> You know, I, I, I went to private Does school. Does the fork go on the left? Oh, I could never or on the, Oh, it's out. very easy. Fork and left. Same amount of letters. Oh, wow. If you remember that moment in Pretty Woman with the, the flying... The snail. The flying snail, yeah. <laughs> um, but etiquette, I was raised with etiquette. I went to private school, and every time a woman walked into the room, you had to stand up, which was really weird outside of school when a woman walked into the room, and I would automatically stand up. Uh, that's the etiquette that we're taught, and we could say that social Manners. etiquette. Yeah, and you know, if you had to sneeze, you had to leave the room, which you had to be some sort of precognitive to know you were going to sneeze and trying to run out of the room. <laughs> but you know, etiquette today, ugh, it seems to have degraded a bit. I still hold doors open for people at the bank, at Starbucks. It doesn't matter. I don't care your gender, your age, or any of that. I just hold doors open to people. Because symbolically, what does a door opening for you mean? It's an opportunity that you work. So it's just good karma for me to do that. But as a witch, ethics and etiquette take on a whole different level. Because you're dealing with magic. You're dealing with other witches. And it's great if you're a solitary. Because then, if you're a solitary, rarely do your etiquette rules change get broken because you're not dealing with other people if your cat does something you don't so much easier so much easier this is solitary <laughs> but you know you start circling with other people and going to festivals and going to public things that's where shit tends to go a little bit haywire and well-meaning as people are i mean nobody sets out to say oh we're going to go to this circle and i'm just going to crap all over the whole thing i'm just going to be the rudest thing that i can be i don't think anybody starts out that way it's usually non-intentional but I also think people don't know. So that's why this class has become so popular over the years, because it at least gives people a list of things to know before going in. Like if you're going to another country, you want to know what the customs are. You don't know the language. You know, you want to know what the food is. Because um, sometimes you just Ignorance don't Ignorance of the law is not, the excuse, is not an excuse for breaking the law. Yes. Yeah. Apparently you can't get away with saying, I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. So... We're going to start with ethics. Oh, and here's an easy way to put the two together. Your etiquette are how you walk your ethics. Isn't that cool? So they really are linked together. Like, I always hold doors open for people. That is an ethic that I do to kind of symbolically transmit that vibration of opportunity and kindness. But it is part of my etiquette. So that makes sense. So it kind of links those two together.